Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a line chart to compare your sales year over year. For example, uh, in this line chart over here, what I have is uh, the sales for the year 2019, 2020 and 2021. And we are comparing how the sales have been performing for, for these three years. For example, if we look at 2021 sales over here, right? the sales are going upwards whereas in 2020 the sales were slightly lower when compared and here we are able to see how the sales have been performing every month right so this is what we will be learning today this cannot be created in a simple line chart you might think that you know hey i can just bring in this line chart thing over here and bring in my order date and my total sales amount and this will create it for me or if i just create this by year uh, you know or if you if you think that you can just bring in the legend over here and change to date hierarchy and bring in here it is not going to happen it is not going to work that way right we will have to make some changes to uh, uh, bring it to this particular uh, visual over here right so let's get started so the first of all uh, i will be creating uh, a new column okay we will have to do some tweaking here to achieve the desired result there might be a different way to do this as well but here is what i that i know of uh, the way we can do this right so let's get started so let's create a new column let's say a uh, date for running total okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the format uh, function okay and in the value field i'm going to enter my order date uh, field this is my date column in the fact table comma and then i need this to be formatted in month and date format mm hyphen dd okay i'm going to close the quotes close the bracket and then i'm going to concatenate this with the year hyphen i will be concatenating this with the year 2020 i'm going to close the bracket and press enter okay so we've now created a new uh, column right now let's create a running total uh, in the sales table okay i'm going to go here click on new quick measure and under this calculation field i'm going to come down and select running total and let's expand the fact table over here and uh, i need the uh, the field here is going to be date for running total that we just created okay we'll add the date for running total field over here and I need the tot by total sales amount. All right, sum of total sales amount. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. This is now going to create a new um, uh, measure for me, right? So let us change this to yearly running total. Okay, I'm going to press enter. We've changed. We've added a new uh, measure over here, right? Now let's bring in the line chart. Let's start creating a line chart. Okay and we'll bring in the yearly uh, running total value okay and then we will bring in the date for running total okay and uh, let us come here uh, click on this over here go to the column tools and change this format data type to date okay and you will get a warning box over here and just click on okay so once you've converted that to date you will start seeing something like this okay now uh, Pull in your order date into the or your date column into the legend. Okay. And then from this drop down over here, select date hierarchy so that you get the year over here. Okay. Right now there are a lot of years and the data, the visual looks quite messed up. So let us only analyze the uh, three year uh, sales data over here. So, okay. So you can select multiple years here if you want. But right now we've only selected 19, 20 and 21, right? So as you can see here, we have the line chart created. But what you will notice here is, uh, you know, the months are appearing over here, but it says 2020, right? So that's the way we have created this particular uh, report. We cannot change that. So I'm just going to go and uncheck my X axis so that we don't see that particular uh, axis over there and then let's bring in the data labels and uh, if you would like you can change the stroke width okay make it little uh, 
higher and then we can change the line style to dotted or dashed or solid whatever that you would like all right so this is how you create a line chart uh, to show your or to compare the sales year over year to show whether it is increasing or decreasing for example over here if we compare uh, 2019 with 2020 right so somewhere over here uh, the sales has dipped compared to 2019 and then it dipped more further over here and then it slowly picked up again to a higher scale right so this is how we compare years and this is a very powerful and very interesting chart. It gives a lot of insight, uh, especially when you're analyzing your sales or your spend data, right? So I hope you've learned something new and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.